vehicle maintenance and repairs.com. That is our cruise host here. Um, today we have a Polo Cross, okay, uh, disc or uh, bottled, I think, because when you apply brakes, it shudders like crazy. Okay, so without further ado, let me show you how I do it. Okay, so we're going to be replacing the disc and the pads in this case. So we'll take the wheels off, so 17 uh, socket here. Okay, so quite simply, you know, the disc just has a, um, a Torx socket there. T27 Torx screw inside there. Okay, that just basically holds the disc in position, you know, while you are working here. So what we'll do is, we'll just get that out of the way, that little screw out of the way. Okay, and that's what that looks like. Okay, Okay, so it's usually a size 7 Allen key. Okay, it's got a dust cap on. Let's take the dust cap off there. Okay. And then uh, what we do is we just get this disc back a little bit, okay? So we use a lever, okay? You can see how that piston, how that piston is getting pushed in over there. Push it in as far as you can, okay? And then we'll take a size 7, I normally use this one, okay? Size 7 Allen key there, stick it in there, loosen it up, use a ratchet, gun, whatever you want to do. Okay, um, but it is a size 7, so we'll turn, um, the, it's like sliders, yeah, okay, that holds the floating uh, caliper to the carrier, so we just have to get it uh, threaded all the way, huh? all the way, all the way, until we can pull that slider out, there's your slider, we're going to clean these sliders off and we'll lubricate them a little bit as well with some rubber grease, okay. Um, that's just so that, uh, you know, they don't, so that they turn pretty nicely, uh, at least slide pretty nicely, excuse my terms. Um, so we get both of those sliders out of the way. Okay, there's the second one. Okay, so we'll just simply take the caliper and we get the floating caliper just to hang there. It's not too heavy, so don't worry, it's not going to break. Okay, and we'll take off the, the disc. So what we can also do now, we can now remove the disc pads like that. This one slides out and that one pushes in. Okay, so I've got a, like an airline here. Yeah? All right, so we just blow some of that dust away. You can use a, a brush, you know, um, in some of my other videos, you know, I basically showed, uh, you know, how to take the dust off. But now, as you can see, um, you know, there is a bit of meat left here on the pads. But now, because this is vibrating, it's shuddering when the guy applies brakes. Uh, this is why we're replacing the disc as well. I suppose if you want to save some money, you can have the disc cut or skimmed. Okay, but in this case, we're going to be replacing them. So I'm going to get the parts and then show you how to fit it. So yes, yeah, sometimes we do have different... Um, diameters on the on the on the disc. This one is measuring 255. Yeah, we call it 255 more. Okay, that is the diameter. All right. So what I like to do is to compare the new with the old. Make sure that we've got the right parts. Okay. Let's open this baby up here. And quite simply, we can just sort of overlay it, okay, and you can see that that is basically the same diameter, okay. So the disc are fine, it's, you can see it's a 5 hole, and then of course it's got that hole down, 
Okay. Now, just remember that when these discs are on, you put the wheel on. The bolts are at the main things that's going to hold this disc in position. Okay. That is just to when you're fitting disc pads. Okay. So that this thing doesn't wobble around while you while you're doing that. Let's take a look at the disc pads itself. Okay. We've got the sample ones here. These ones come with a sensor, but this one doesn't have a sensor, so we can just cut the sensor off. Okay. And um, they are all the same. So. You will notice that uh, you know you have um, when, when you're looking when you're looking at these hold down clips, you will see these ones are, are chunkier and it's longer. Okay, so the, this is basically the inside ones. This is the ones that clip into the caliper, and this is the one that clips on the outside of the caliper. Okay, I'll basically show you how it how to do it. You know, but you can see that that is basically the same. Okay. The old stuff there, so we got the brand new ones. So let's go ahead and put one side. Okay, so let's locate that uh, that little hole for the screw down there. Okay, we'll take the disc. We'll put it on the disc. It's got no oil on it or anything. Okay, so we can just uh, basically uh, put the disc on. We'll just get that little uh, screw to thread remember it's a 2070 uh, t27 uh, torx okay we don't as i said we don't need to make it too tight all right we don't need to make it too tight it's just there to hold everything in place okay while we assemble so let's go ahead and put on the dispatch So as I said, we'll take the ones with the chunkier um, clips on. You just have to basically push it in. Okay, let it clip in nicely over there. And then <coughs> what basically happens with this one is that it slides. We basically slide it in like that. Okay, did you get that? Okay, it just basically slides in. All right. And then we'll put them down. But now here's a trick. You've just got to watch the bottom here okay this bottom has got a trick in it's got a basically clip in here look very carefully here okay that's the disc pad and that's the caliper okay so that's got to be on the outside okay not on the inside otherwise the the caliper won't close properly okay just make sure that you get that into into position properly okay and now quite simply we'll take our lubricated uh, slide pins okay and we'll get them to line up and be very careful with this as well make sure that you line your that you get it threaded before you apply any pressure to it okay make sure that it is turning nice and nice and easy into the thread okay before you actually put a spanner to it because i've heard many times how guys spoil these threads Okay, and this is basically uh, like a pewter um, type of material, you know, and it's not very easy to re to recap them, um, you know, because uh, most of the time you've got to actually make it actually it's slightly bigger. All right, so we don't want that. So all that you do is take your your socket. Um, and your ratchet and you just give it a good tightening 25 30 newton meters is enough to torque it if you want to torque it okay here we go nice and tight okay we'll put in our dust cup our dust caps all right the dust caps are there to prevent any dirt grime and dust getting in there all right now i want you to just watch this i'm going to go and pump the brakes and it's very important that you pump the brakes Okay, did you see that? It will basically pull the two disc pads closer to the to the disc. Okay, so you're basically getting rid of any space inside the, 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 the pipes. Because remember, you have pushed the piston back, so you need to pump the piston back down again. Alright, so that is basically it. As simple as it is to replace a rotors or disc and disc pads. Okay, on a polo cross.
Thanks for joining me once again here at Vehicle Maintenance and Repairs.com um, where we did the front disc and pads for the cross folder. I've just come off the road of the car. There is no more shudder and shake on the brakes. Okay, so that definitely was the problem. Um, you know, um, thanks for your subscription. Uh, don't forget to press the notification button at the bottom here. Um, you know, leave comments in the, in the comment section. I always appreciate you guys' feedback. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, um, drive carefully. Until next time. Cheers.